Live from Walla Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, college hockey action as Merrimack takes on Colgate. As they'll send the puck ahead. Merrimack keeps the puck alive. Quick center pass! Score! Mac Welsher! Merrimack keeping the puck alive in the offensive zone, and Welsher is able to finish it off at 7.43, 1 0 Merrimack. Merrimack in the middle of a line change here. This is a real good look. You'll see the puck comes down to, I believe that was Jeffries there along the boards, and he's able to find Welsher a good look in front. And Welsher on the backhand flips it past Guylander. Not too much Guylander could do there. Zivlak sends it to the far wall. That's it. The penalty is up. Both teams 0 for 1 on the power play. Big collision at center. Lepinen was involved in that play. Merrimack gets it down. Low Brar scores! From the near circle, Brar fresh out of the penalty box. He whistles one home at 6-12 of the second period. It's 2-0 Merrimack. Just 10 seconds after Brar's penalty expired. Yeah, as you said, he comes out of the box. Lepinen had taken a big hit. There was a big collision there at center ice. The puck came around. You see, he put, boy, did he give up the body to make a play. And Jeffries with the primary helper there again. You know what? Lepinen's not going to get an assist on that goal, but that goal doesn't happen without him. O'Brien takes a bump along the boards by Nick Belpedio. Shot by Sadovsky from the point. Is blocked aside. Kevin Sadovsky didn't see much action last year, but Scott Borick has him out there tonight. Loose puck score! Slava Demon will pick up the goal. So Demon has a goal and an assist. And Merrimack has extended the lead. It's 3 0 Warriors. And a quick face off win score! A bang bang play right off the face off. That's exactly how they wanted to draw that up, I'm sure. Jordan Seifert slaps one home to make it 4 0 Merrimack. Just 10.6 seconds to go in the period. And you're right, right off the draw, you see Calverly wins it back, and it's the quick shot inside the post. Cypher through traffic, and oh, there were about three or four bodies right there between Guylander and Cypher when he let that one-timer go. Warriors collect the puck at center. Here's Zivlak over the line. He's got Lepinen over to Jeffries. Jeffries cross ice. Zivlak has to chase that one a little bit. From the point shot, deflected. Lepinen knocks it down with the glove and scores! Ottoville Lepinen picks up his first goal as a Warrior. This one comes at 9.02. Of the third, and Merrimack now up 5 0. So the Warriors able to win the draw. They have possession of it. Time will expire here at Lala Rink. And it's the second career shutout for Zachary Borgiel, and he's all smiles. The Warriors post the victory, and they're out to salute Borgiel, who stopped every shot that headed his way tonight, Mike. The offense was spread out. A lot to like about this one. The Warriors make it three in a row. 20 saves for Zach Borgiel with the shutout, but he was staked to a lead in the first period. 1-0 off the stick of Mack Welsher. Merrimack then added two goals less than two minutes apart or early in the second period to turn a 1-0 game into 3-0. Jordan Seifert adds one late in the second. Ardoville lepin in here in the third, and that's the final. It's Merrimack 5, Colgate nothing. So the Warriors now with this victory improve to three and one on the season and they will play game two against Colgate tomorrow night. We'll have it for you right here from Lala Rink at seven o'clock. That's going to wrap things up from Lala Rink here in North Andover. So for my broadcast partner Mike Macknick, our producer KJ Cardinal and our entire Pack Network crew. I'm John Leahy saying so long from North Andover where the final score for the final time is Merrimack five. Colgate nothing.